Yeah. Dinesh Govinda, the CEO of Discovery Vitality, joins us. And uh, I've known Dinesh for many, many years. And, uh, and and I love it talking to him because his lights, his eyes light up when you talk about behavior change. And that's what uh, Dinesh is all about. Behavioral economics and clinical science can make people healthier. That's what Dinesh believes in. And they're certainly getting it right at Vitality. The Vitality program is rooted in technology, as you all know, and innovation. And Dinesh believes that this can positively transform lives in South Africa and around the globe for the better. We've already seen that happening. So, Dinesh, uh, for anybody that's been, um, you know, hasn't been around or, or read anything about Vitality or has been uh, on another planet for all these years, how do you explain Vitality? Let's say you get into a lift and there's uh, somebody from another country, and I don't want to say a country because I'm not sure which country's Vitality is not available in at the moment because that's a space I'm watching with a great deal of interest. But you get into a lift with somebody that's never heard of Vitality. How do you describe what Vitality is about, Dinesh? Oh, Aki, it's great to be on your show. Thanks for, thanks for having me here. Um, Vitality is an in, in science-based, incentivized behavior change program. Uh, what that means is we, give you, we reward you for getting healthy. Uh, so I always start off any conversation with people by saying we reward members for getting healthy, which sounds, sounds strange, but, but it's actually it's quite profound. It's what Adrian's built Discovery on. Um, Discovery's 30 years old and Vitality's 25 years old. So we, we started Discovery in the medical aid space and Adrian realized very quickly that, you know, he can actually make the medical aid much more sustainable and lower claims costs by getting people to go to gym. So that's where Vitality came from, the ability to actually encourage people, raise awareness, provide access and provide discounts or rewards to get people to do stuff that's actually good for them. Uh, and, and in the long run, it creates this shared value model which says, well, if, if you go to gym, if you eat healthy, if you stop smoking, if you manage your mental well-being, well, you're, not, you're much less likely to go to hospital, you're much likely to much less likely to, uh, to contract a chronic condition, you're much less likely to die uh, prematurely. And all of those things are actually good for your medical aid, it's good for your life insurance. If we can get you to drive safe, it's good for your car insurance. If we can get you to manage your financials better, it's good for your banking. So the shared value model gives us a surplus, which we put into amazing rewards for members, and that's Vitality. So to your point, love being in Vitality because all I get to do is reward members for doing the right thing for themselves. Well, let me give you a story. Um, uh, you mentioned that, uh, you know, you've been, uh, I mean, the program has been around for 25 years. I've probably been around uh, with Discovery for as long. And it was actually the Vitality program that stopped me from smoking, believe it or not. And I remember this. Um, I, I wasn't a big smoker, and I'm now going back like 25 years ago. But I was getting so irritated that I wasn't meeting my targets. And you would get, you know, thousands of points if you were declaring that you were a non-smoker. And that was for me quite an incentive. It was almost like you were dangling a carrot. And I guess that's what the science behind the Vitality program is about. You know, it's changing your human behavior, understanding what's harmful for you, what's going to make you live a little bit longer. And, and I guess that uh, th this is what the science of the program is all about, right? Absolutely. So what we've done is we've taken all the clinical know-how around how to prevent or reduce your, you know, your risk of getting chronic conditions. And if you've got a chronic condition, how to manage that risk and lower it. We've taken all of that clinical know-how. We've taken the actuarial signs, and we have tons of very smart actuaries in the building, um, you know, who have looked at it and said, well, if we can get you, Aki, to stop smoking, we lower his mortality risk. So the actuaries do all of those numbers. And then we take the behavioral signs. Uh, behind these things and say, how do we get Aki to stop smoking, right? How do we get Dinesh to start running? And and that's where the behavioral science comes in. And there's lots of great concepts in the space that we think through. But, you know, just a couple of them that are interesting for me are, one is hyperbolic discounting. Hyperbolic discounting in behavioral science is around the fact that, you know, people like you and I place much more value on a reward today than on a benefit far in the future. We discount those benefits. Mm, mm. If I told you, Aki, go to gym three times this week, uh, every week, and you have a great, healthy life at 65. You're like, of course, that's great. Yes. That's a good thing to do. I'll go to gym. And you'll try to go to gym, but you may not. If I said, Aki, go to gym three times a week, every week, and next month I'll give you a flight to Mauritius. All of a sudden, you're interested in gym again. You're like very interested and you're going to go because you want that flight to Mauritius. Now, you and I both know that being healthy at 65 is priceless 
and you know the price of a flight to Mauritius. Yes. And yet we will go to gym for the flight, but we will jump, we will fall off the wagon at some point in terms of going to gym if it's just about how to retire in good health. And that's what Vitality does. We bring that, yeah. we bring that those those future benefits into tangible benefits today, so our members can enjoy flights and gym and healthy food and all sorts of all sorts of sexy things that makes them healthier. Yes, and and you know it's it's actually a domino effect because once you tick off that one box it inspires you to do more. So, you know, the other things that you weren't doing to stay healthy, you start doing. And then before you know it, a year down the line, you reflect back on where you were last year and you reflect back now. And, you know, your whole life has changed. You feel healthier and all those sort of things, which is great. The interesting thing is that you're dangling those carrots. And I, I, I made a note of the Mauritius trip, by the way. Uh, okay. but, but gamification, and, you know, everybody's doing gamification. It's the world that we're living in. We are connected technologically. And, 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 and the free coffees that I was getting, I loved that part of it. So the gamification is really a massive incentive to get people healthier. And the smoothies, I might add, as well. Yes. So, so what we t did is over the years, and as I said, we've been around 25 years. So we started with the best technology back then, which was a spreadsheet between us and, and Health and Racket Club, now Virgin Active, saying, you know, Dinesh has been to gym, so he gets his discount. And we said, well, with technology today, we can measure my run real time on my watch. The moment I'm done with my run, Discovery Vitality knows it. And if, if we know it immediately, why can't we reward you immediately? knowing just how important immediate gratification is for people and how powerful immediate gratification is for people. So that's where Active Rewards came around, saying let's, let's create weekly goals for people where if we set them an exercise goal for the week and, some, and it's a personalized goal. So you know, for someone who's you know, just doing a few thousand steps, we'll set them a goal to get 10,000 steps in a day and, and they'll close their, their exercise ring. They'll hit their, they'll hit their goal. And for someone who's running regularly, let's put it at three vigorous exercises a week. And the moment you hit your goal, which is personalized, we're going to give you a free coffee or smoothie. Now, that, we launched that in 2015. That was eight years ago already. We launched that in 2015, and it was our most successful launch ever. We had the highest take-up. We've, we've got almost a million people in South Africa alone on Vitality Active Rewards right now. So on this weekly goal-setting, wow. goal-achieving coffee and smoothie and Discovery Miles program. And across the world, we've got 30 million people on it. So, so it's really, really taken off. To your point about different markets, we're in 40 different markets now, um, uh, using this technology and all the stuff that was proudly built in South Africa to actually make people around the world healthier. What we've done on the gamification is we started with a free coffee or smoothie, and then three years later we said, no man, I love coffee, Aki loves smoothies, but some people don't like either. And that's where we came up with the game board saying, achieve your exercise goal mm -hmm. and you'll be able to get a play on a game board and win discovery miles, which is our rewards currency. And that rewards currency can be used for your coffee, your smoothie, a, um, a donation to, to in move to gift to someone like Gift of the Givers, or you can save it up to get a take a lot voucher, big shopping voucher at, at Discam or somewhere like that, uh, or Woolworths. So really we create the space where people are able to earn hundreds of, of uh, discovery miles over time through this process. Now, as you know with gamification, I mean, you're in the tech field, you can't build a game and leave it and expect everyone to keep playing it for the rest of their lives. You've got to refresh it, you've got to renew it, and you've got to use you know, the technology available today to upgrade it. And Aki, it's, it's a very exciting time for us. We've just launched our biggest upgrade to Vitality Active Rewards. We've, we've now combined those two things, instant gratification of the coffee or smoothie and the game board plays, but we've used the technology we've got with Discovery Bank, which I'll talk about in a minute, to actually make it even more personalized. So, so what we've done now is we've said, when you achieve your goal, even if it's on a, you know, it's two days into the week, when you achieve it, you can get yes. your coffee or smoothie immediately. But if you're like me and you love Discovery Miles because you use them on flights and, and all sorts of other things on Discovery Miles D-Day, well, I want to hoard them. I want to play the game board. So I'm going to wait for Rewards Wednesday and play the game board. But the game board isn't the old game board. Our old game board had between, you know, 100 and 750 mile tiles on it. And you pick one, and if you're lucky, you get the 750. I've gotten it a couple of times over the years. Otherwise, you're going to get 200 or 250 miles or 100 miles. What we've done now is we've said, we're going to personalize that game board. We're going to add a tile there for when you achieve your exercise goal, your exercise points from that week, your vitality points are going to be a, appear as a tile. So last week, I got 1,000 exercise points. There's a 1,000 mile tile on the board for exercise. So it says when you achieve your goal, you don't just achieve your goal, but your game board gets richer. If you shop with one of our partners, if you shop at 
uh, at one of our pharmacy partners, Clicks or Discam. If you shop at our healthy food partners, uh, Pick and Pay or Woolies, or if you shop at our fuel partners, Shell and BP, because of the Discovery Bank operating system, we now know that information. So if you if you if I filled up my tank at Shell or BP last week, and I spent a thousand two hundred rands, um, fictitious because we know petrol costs a lot more now, but a thousand two hundred rand, there will be a thousand two hundred Discovery Mile tile on my game board. So all of a sudden, I've got okay. a richer game board because I'm engaging in the Discovery system. Okay, that's amazing. Listen, it's it's incredible how and and where Vitality has come from and where it is today. I mean, I'm old enough to remember those little devices you attached on your belt that counted your steps. Now I'm really giving my age away. And how many people hacked the system to get the points? Uh, they used to add it onto a onto a fan, I think, that used to turn like this, and it used to count as steps. And people used to you know reach their targets. The crazy things that people would do to to gamify and win the system. But you know, technology's changed, and and in many cases, it's circumvented people from doing that sort of thing but the question is how is vitality bridging the gap between this digital world that we're living in that i described and where we are today and of course the real world because there is there is the differentiation between the two isn't there absolutely i mean for us we think of it as you know sort of a combined uh, a combined space where people engage and i think it's really important for people to keep moving for people to drive better for people to to manage their finance as well and for us everything on your mobile phone is just there to enable you to live better in the real world. And even in Active Rewards, we thought, well, listen, there's these discovery miles, they're a virtual rewards currency. You can use them uh, online at any of our, our partner stores. Uh, you can use them with a voucher. But in the end of the day, going into a store and paying with your discovery miles, going to a Vida or a Kawaii and getting your, your coffee or your smoothie with your, with your QR code voucher is great. But we, we, but we up the ante. Um, you've mentioned how you know you need to try and get their points no matter what. There are members on Vitality Active Rewards today that have achieved 100, 200, and even over 300 weekly goals in a row. They have unbelievable goal streaks. We have 10,000 people who have achieved goal streaks of 100 or more. These are truly phenomenal people. They're, you know, they're, they're getting huge value from Vitality, but they're also really healthy. They're living their best lives in so many different ways. They're getting maximum discounts when they go on, you know, when they book their flights uh, inside the Discovery Bank app. So really people who are living much, not just healthier lives, but richer lives. And we thought, well, a great physical way to actually continue to recognize them is to create Centurion t-shirts. I don't mean Centurion in Midran. I'm talking about Centurion t-shirts in terms of who have achieved 100, or 200, or 300 golds in a row. So we've gotten these shirts, which you cannot buy. Money can't buy these shirts. You have to earn them through the program. So once you hit your goal, you'll get an email from me saying, Aki, well done on hitting 100 golds in a row. Here's your voucher. Go to Sportsman's Warehouse, and they'll give you a personalized t-shirt with 100 on it. Uh, I'm, I, I feel that very... so cool. I feel very proud of my uh, my gold streak. I'm on 170 right now, but my my team, my my exco team, is even more special. I've got uh, Joe Fanikak, my uh, my chief operating officer, who's on a gold streak of well above 300. Gee, that's extraordinary. I mean, those are amazing, amazing success stories. You know, you've got to get, uh, you've got to put some videos up and uh, they need to tell us how they got to that. You know, I mean, it's, it, as you say, if you, if you apply yourself, you can get to that, but, uh, you know, inspire others to get to them. And of course, uh, at dinner parties, you know, how do you know who these people are? Because they tell you they've done these <laughs> things. And it's well, good. You know? <laughs> it's well, a great way to show off, you know, because it's, it's an amazing achievement. It really, it really is. And, and I think, you know, the thing I love most about Vitality is just how inspiring it is for the community. Uh, it inspires the community. We've got Team Vitality, which is South Africa's largest running and cycling club. And we have the, the weekend walkers, everyone from like sort of, you know, 10 years old to 70. And then we've got the largest number of entries into the Comrades Marathon. So it's really the full spectrum of people who are inspiring each other to form a community that's, that's founded on this principle of making people healthier. And I think that inspiration is great. So, uh, you know, at the park runs, there's various park runs across the country, people show off. So every Saturday morning, people are wearing their Centurion shirts to show people that they've, you know, that they've earned it. Uh, it's the same thing at the gym. Now, when I go to, to the Virgin Active uh, in, in Melrose, you see people wearing their Centurion shirts and they're really proud about it. And mm. I think the pride is one thing, but the inspiration of seeing people of all ages getting healthier. You know, there's there's someone like Adrian who can, you know, who can run a mile in, in, in 20 minutes. And then there's someone like me who only started running later in life. And and I think across that spectrum, inspiring people to just move more, 
to be more conscious when they're driving, to manage their finances well, to go for screenings. Just going for preventive screenings gives you increased discounts on your flights and, and other rewards. So just getting people to, to do that one action, I think you said it earlier, it triggers other good behaviors. So if you go for screenings, all of a sudden, you know, you know what your blood pressure is, you know what your cholesterol is, your blood glucose, and it makes you think about, hmm, maybe I need to start walking more. You thought about everything on this uh, particular plan, and I guess that you're probably working on version four of this as well as we speak right now and adding more functionality to it. And I guess it's part of the evolution. Uh, I wanted to ask you why you've changed the Vitality Active Rewards from what it was in the previous years. And, and you just have to think about, you know, all the different programs that have come, now come online and how you reward people. I, I guess it's, it's all part of the evolution, right, Dinesh? For, for me, it's... Innovation is in Discovery's DNA. I think we need to keep innovating. We need to keep our members engaged. Uh, engagement requires constant innovation, constant excitement, gamification. And I think, uh, as I've said before, around you know, if you're playing a game, you expect the game to evolve. You expect the game to to uh, you know to get more and more exciting and use the latest technology, the latest graphics. And you'll see, we've we've actually put Active Rewards now inside the Discovery Bank app, just because the rails are more modern. Because you've got another layer of security, because you've got the data around around the members spend at our partners, we are able to do all sorts of exciting things. So for me, there's, we can only go up from here and, and do more and more exciting things. But it really goes back to innovation being at the core of Discovery's DNA and using that innovation to continue to make people healthier. That's extraordinary. And I, I'd love to see what's what's happening next and, uh, you know, where you're going with all of this. And, and the, certainly the innovation is the one thing that's driving this. And I have no doubt that things like AI and machine learning and, uh, you know, analyzing this big data in the future is going to both aid yourselves and myself as a user to even make my life even healthier. And I think that those technologies without giving away too much are those kind of things that are going to really play a big role for discovery vitality in the future? Well, we, we keep searching for new ways to, to, to excite our members and, and get them moving. So uh, we'll certainly try. Well done, Dinesha. Well, um, uh, you've inspired me to become a, a centurion today and <laughs> get one of those T-shirts. And well done to all those centurions that are watching this. Uh, it's a, an amazing achievement to do what you've done. Dinesh Govinda, who is the CEO at Discovery Vitality. Dinesh, thanks again for joining us. And it was really good to chat to you again. Absolute pleasure, Aki. Take care.